What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're going to be reacting to. Man, I had a lot of y'all DM me to react to Corey's video exposing Carmen, man. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to not be biased, but I do want to start the video off with saying this dude really needs to just move on. Move on, man. Move on. <laughs> Is this the only way you're going to have people tap into your music and go sign up for your course or whatever the case is? Is this the way that you feel like you need to market it? Because this is a terrible way to do it, bro. You know? And the fact that he said that... <clears throat> the fact that somebody brought up that the kids are going to see this... He said he was going to tell the kids about it. I'm just like, dude, this dude is impossible, fam. He's really impossible. Just when you think it couldn't get no worse for Corey, man, it just gets even worse. It's sad. Like I said, I don't know how Carmen put up with this for so long, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's get into the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to today. Ain't your mama today? Uncle Joey still hold? Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. <laughs> no, nah, I don't. And I did speed it up. Which I might have to turn it back down because y'all already know Corey speaks fast as hell anyway. So I don't know. We just gonna have to see. So it says she never admitted to her S though. All right. How your day treating you so far? Pretty good. Can't complain of yours. Man, tiring as F. This weather, that sleepy weather. Shit so bipolar. You outside all this weekend? <clears throat> oh yeah, this weather sucks. We outside tomorrow. He got a section at Parma. So I guess this is her. Maybe this is Carmen talking to somebody. I don't know. Okay, bet. Then I can't wait. I called myself trying to take a nap. That shit is not working. None. Uh, I'm at home waiting on this package. Got you ate today. Okay, I got you. I guess we will be comfortable with each other more. Where we would know how to text. Guess what? Surprisingly, yes, you know I'd be waiting to the end of the day. If at all to eat, but yeah, I had bomb ass food from Grand Lux. Grand Lux is trash to me, y'all. I'd rather go to Cheesecake Factory all day, every day. Comment down below and let me know what y'all prefer Grand Lux or Cheesecake Factory. To me, Grand Lux looks better aesthetically, but Cheesecake, Cheesecake Factory tastes better, at least down here in Dallas. You know, so y'all let me know in the comment section down below. I remember I went to Grand Lux. I was like, man, Grand Lux, it sounds like, you know, all fancy and shit. It looks fancy or whatever the case is. Man, I sit down. That shit is like a step below Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory is good, but Grand Lux is just so subpar. But anyway, appreciate the conversation you gave me yesterday. Hate that shit. It's way more to come. Know that. I feel you when you get good food, all the type of weather makes you lazy. Okay, come on, man. What is this? First of all, explain this shit. Instead of having your music in the background, explain this shit. Yeah, I'm not. No, let's see. Okay, so it's a... Like, when I saw you the first time, I didn't see nothing to it. It was like, okay, cool, but I didn't care for the looks. No. Okay, so I guess he's trying to say that Carmen cheated. Carmen was entertaining other niggas, and she found out, or whatever the case is. I'm gonna just say it's never right to cheat, right? So I'm not gonna take that away from him. But once again, why are you exposing this shit? You know, why now? Why are you doing this? We all know why he's doing it. He's trying to stay relevant. He, <clears throat> he's trying to, you know what I'm saying? And, and he's bitter on top of that. He's bitter on top of that. He just, like I said, he cannot fathom the fact that she actually left him. But that's what I think is happening here. He's basically saying that she, um, that she cheated, even though you cheated multiple times too so y'all were both in the wrong if we being honest all right man let's get to it it's time to own up to your shit oh my god here we go i've owned up to mine and i still get bashed and lied on why do men have to hold everything in but it's okay for women to speak out and even lie play victim all right here we go uh yeah you are no, I'm not trying to play victim, but I refuse to let someone play like they are perfect and haven't caused no damage in my life. It's time I let this out and leave it behind me. This is officially my closing chapter. I was hoping I didn't have to go this far. Um, I don't think Carmen ever <clears throat> claimed to be perfect. I feel like she has said she's made mistakes just like you have made mistakes as well. And she's never drug your name through any type of mud. You know, she's actually tried to protect your name after all of this shit that she's been through with you. So for you to take it as far as crazy as fuck. You know, I was hoping I didn't have to go this far. This is lame as shit. This is so lame. By the way, just random, man. Who y'all think gonna win a boxing match? King Sid or Deshae? 
Let me know in the comment section down below. Hashtag the Shay or hashtag King Sid. Let me know who y'all think. And if y'all didn't know, Aiden is going to make a boxing match. Or he's going to put on a boxing event from what I heard, right? So he constructed this shit. He called up Sid. He called up the Shay. And they agreed to a boxing match. So I got my money on the Shay. I ain't going to lie. He's a dog. Now, Sid does have skills too. But I think Deshae just, you know what I'm saying? Like, Deshae is a pressure fighter. He comes through, you know, every match that I've seen Deshae fight in, he's a pressure fighter. He's going forward. He's swinging with everything he got, you know what I'm saying? Like, and even though he gets tired, he's still in the fight. So I got my money on Deshae. Let me know who y'all got, Sid or Deshae. We live in a world... Where it's set up for men to lose. Oh, my God. We must obey women's feelings, even if they are in the wrong. I hate it and just can't take it anymore. Dude, is, it, is he really crying, bro? You want to say, look, you drunk. You drunk. But all the times you know when I'm really drunk, when I'm not. Oh, but... So now you're exposed. Now you're recording somebody without their consent. Now you're exposing recordings, you know, secret recordings and private recordings. I don't even know if this is legal. Like I said, man, Carmen better get her legal team in order and get ready to prosecute because, nigga, like at this point, it's just getting crazy. It's really getting crazy. Because I'm talking to you and I'm telling you how. I was called another guy's name. <laughs> it wasn't a prank, was it? <laughs> I didn't even trip, but it was flipped back on me like I made a mistake. Come on, don't do no stuff like that to shut me down, Corey. Don't do that. Bro, you call said, I was waiting for you to even you smoke to come in and for, another, for me to talk man, to you. Like, why, 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 why are you talking to me? Like, After all the shit that she been through, I ain't surprised. You know what I'm saying? She probably wish you was Mark or Steven or Uncle Joe who's still a hoe up the road. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's never right to cheat. Just because you're getting cheated on, it doesn't mean that you need to go back and do the same thing. You need to leave the situation if you're unhappy. You know? I will never co-sign cheating back or getting revenge. But at the same time, is it understandable? Yes, it is. It doesn't make it right, though. I will say that. This is wrong, though. This is exposing this shit is wrong. I was just trying to go to sleep. Happened at a bowling party on camera. Huh? Only on camera. Only on camera, it might look like I care, but only on camera. Look at me. There's no shit. No, 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 no. See what I'm saying? So don't fucking ask me a question if you want me to listen. If you don't want to listen, don't ask me a question. I'm listening to you. Okay, but I don't know what I'm listening to. No. <coughs> no, Corey. Let's talk about it. Why not, Corey? Why not? Oh, wait. Let's talk about it tomorrow when Corey feels like it. How much? This is a, a, a cycle and it's repetitive. Not in a moo cap. You done caught her live in the flesh. Y'all knew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Y'all had a scene. They never seen me like this. For the one thing, they never heard me talk about it. I've never had done that. The thing is, it's not going to continue to go. That's what I'm trying to tell you now. That's right. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Why are you recording me? Because I'm just talking about something stupid. Yeah, because you tend to get what said. So it's a... Yes. It's a almost every event that I had... She brought negative energy, and we always got like this in front of people. So why not leave? Why not leave? People, it's another example of when people know or see red flags or know that these people are not compatible. You're not compatible with that person. However, you continue to deal with them instead of doing what you need to do, which is leaving, right? Right? There's plenty of witnesses. I record because I knew people wouldn't believe me if I didn't have evidence. Okay. You just get this out. The girl came out the room. Man, like all of those outside. Oh hell no, nah, not in front of everybody. Oh man. That's the worst. Arguing with your girl in front of everybody is crazy, bro. Right? That don't happen to me no more. But back then, oh man. I'm talking about that shit is the most embarrassing thing to cap. <laughs> I saw this somebody said it on my Trip it. And we're all of us, like, everything that just had happened, right? We all outside chilling, smoking, right? And she came outside, and we all, everybody, everybody just got, we got to Look at everybody. They're like, oh, man, damn. We just trying to have a good time in this bitch, bro. Y'all can't never get y'all shit together, bro. Nigga, you tripping. And she, 
what, what's going on? Why everybody walking away when I did? Why everybody walking away from me? Like, did you not know what the fuck you just did? So that's what I'm saying. But you, you know, like, all that other shit isn't regular. I, like, that's why I'm going and shit, though. I was you know. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna just, don't cut me out, cause I'm speaking on what I see and how I feel, what I'm feeling, what I'm experiencing. Cause I'm lost as hell, cause I'm like, what well, first of all, what the fuck I did? Like, what you got asked to me for? Drop, I'm wet. I'm wet. I'm just tired of holding in my feelings. I'm tired of being a person the fingers are pointed at when I'm one literally with a pure heart. Nobody know what Cordy did. Yeah, oh, my I God. Like, I'm, saying, so, so, <clears throat> I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to love on you. I'm trying to be friendly with you. So yeah, you trying to love on her after how many times you didn't love on her when all she probably wanted was love. Let's just keep going. Since we were talking about last night also. We got here. And that's what I'm saying, man. We don't know the full context. Like I said, man. <clears throat> Is it right to call your significant other out of, like another person's name? Absolutely not. Is that acceptable? Absolutely not, right? But we don't know at what stage of this relationship was it. Right? We don't know if she was at her wits end. We don't know if she was, you know what I'm saying? Like, we really don't know the context of the situation. I will never co-sign, like I said, getting revenge, cheating back, you know. Um, but you don't understand when people are like are fed up and they feel like they're stuck in a situation or at their breaking point or whatever the case is. It could cause them to do some crazy things, especially under the influence. But anyway. <clears throat> I, I, I'm keeping my cool. I'm really trying to make sure that, Corey, you got to Bro, come on, YouTube is not gonna let me have you smoking this weed on here, bro. I'm gonna just have to cover it up with a smiley or something. I'm going to straight up. Hey, boy, nothing. Everybody, I I ain't talking about nothing. Last night. Yes, I am. I'm talking about how. So you see, I know for sure. Do you see? I know for sure. Now I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how it looks. Why do you have this dramatic ass music over? If you really want this to be exposed, like let us hear it. I can barely hear over this damn emotional ass music. You have to go ask me. All of you. This is really true. If you can't remember what the. I remember. I couldn't just say. Okay, okay, okay. All right, give me some time. You said slick shit. I can't agree that you know I I can I can I cannot agree I can believe the fact that she was talking slick because we all know that Carmen be she has a slick ass mouth. Real <clears throat> I'm just really like, what the fuck did I do? So I'm trying my best. I, I, I even walked out right there last night. I, did you pray to God? I'm like, man, God, man, please, I'm like, what, what's going on with right this? Not even looking for sympathy, but I'm going to put out a Q&A exposing, once again, <laughs> my soon-to-be ex-wife. I mean... I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I said, God, you can't show me this relationship yet for me. It's show me that. If you got me to be God today, just show me that. Just show me. Because at this point, I'm just like, what is going on? I'm trying my best to be so I can let you keep going. And you know what? Sometimes it's too much too late. Sometimes it's too little too late. Like I said in previous videos, speaking about Carmen and Corey and their situation, right? Sometimes a woman... Puts up with so much for so long. And then when you feel that woman slipping through your grasp, then you want to do all the things that you should have been doing initially. You know? So, it could have been one of those cases. We just don't know. We don't have enough context, like I said, man. <clears throat> you kept saying shit, shit, man. Like, like, you really hurt my feelings. Cause I'm really trying to be cool. And I'm just like, man, I'm just trying to be cool with that. I got feelings, I don't care about it, I got feelings. Just because I don't show my feelings what you show me, I got feelings, bro. Like, the shit you do be hurt. I ain't trying to be, I ain't, 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 I
No, 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 Treat me all weird and shit. You like acting with me, talk crazy with me. I ain't did nothing. I don't know if you trying to show up from the real way, but I ain't did nothing. I feel like you was trying to show up, but like you being so fucking friendly. Oh, call me. Other times you had picked to choose what you friend with. For example, for example, I'm getting good at the time. Mm, so Karma, like, shit, I had a problem with you being too fucking friendly. You know, you pick and choose when you want to be friendly. You can be like, come on. If we try to work, okay, if we try to work on everything and do this shit the right way, the smooth way, the smooth way is crazy. Not that he's trying to brand. Throw his brand in there while uh <laughs> while trying to have a serious conversation about their relationship. Well, how when did I do those old friends? Besides laughing and talking. Because the, my girl they talk to me. 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 So what, you want to laugh and smile in other bitches' faces? Is that is that what it is? You acting funny. This girl did shit to me. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So, Carmen wasn't talking to you. She had an attitude for whatever reason. So, you smiling and giggling with other bitches. That's what it sounded like. You really come to school and shit like me. I can't do one of my bitches. Literally. That's exactly how I do one of my bitches. I'm cool shit to play a shit. I ain't no that shit. Play a shit. You can't be a player in a marriage. <laughs> what do you mean? Right, he has been talking a whole damn time. She can't get a word in. <laughs> So I guess he meant during. During my 25th birthday weekend in Miami, May 2023, she admitted this to me. May 2023, she was probably done with your antics. All right, let me just say that. May 2023, she had already been through six years of hell. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> let me just put that out there. I'm not trying to ruin your birthday. I don't even got me. I'm not saying you are. You what not. you're telling me, I said if they send me. Like, if they send me. I know. I'm not saying I'm going to tell you, but I'm telling you what you need to do is you keep the food. You keep going to get I don't know what it is. Like, you're, that's what you're missing. You need to take a nap. You okay, I'm sorry. Sorry for me, Carmen. She drunk. What are you sorry for? Because I don't want you to think like I'm just... Bro, no, you were having baby. fun. Ain't nothing wrong with you was having fun, bro. You got drunk, baby. You I know, fun, but it's like so. still your birthday weekend. It's like I don't want to do too much. Day, it don't mean nothing. You just take a nap and go to sleep and get that up and be fine. You know, it'll be perfect. But if you keep going like this and, and, and you go overthink it, you don't go too much. Trying my best to just help her and be a good husband, as you see. You know what are they talking about? You just know how we always go to work. No, I'm here. No, we don't. I'm just going to ask you something. Right. Of course you can. I'm here right with you. And I'm not even yourself. I know what you're doing. First of all, you're just not yourself. And you're trying to get It's the same thing that I always call I always about to do it right now. So I'm not, really, I'm not getting mad and trying to just call you you. I'm trying to be mature right now. But you're going to be Okay, we're going to let y'all have y'all. Oh, no, I'm coming with y'all. Ah. Take it down. Y'all going to come behind you. She lit. Ooh, I like that yellow dress you put on. She lit. Does she not have no panties on? I'm 
Yeah, you will come to check out for sure. Oh, she do got panties, though. Thank you. Her ass is out, though. She ain't got no uh, pants, though. Yeah. So, come on. You need to take a nap, <laughs> You know, I feel like our life changed every day, and you have to transfer into a new person every day. But this is nothing against you, Poppy. I will forever be a United States immigrant. I ain't gonna lie, the way she said that was kind of sexy. You know what I'm mean? saying? I have American paper with my name on it. So I feel like something we battle at all times. Like, even though, like, that's why I went, like, I fuck with you, I married you. That was my Mongo. I ain't gonna lie to Mongo was for me to marry an American person. Mm -hmm. So I can get my citizenship. So she did want to marry somebody so she could make sure that she would be able to be a citizen, right? Now. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys feel like she just used him? Or do y'all feel like she actually fell for him, was in love with him, and she happened to get citizenship as a result of their union? That's what I believe. I don't believe that she just didn't care about Corey and just wanted to use him to get citizenship. You know? That's just not how I feel. I really feel like she felt very deeply for him, really cared for him. But I could be wrong. Maybe she did use him. But to me, it just doesn't seem that way, man. I really feel like this is a woman who was really in love with him. And, you know, shit, go figure. It's an American citizen. Now I got my citizenship. And we in there. We all the way in there. They built a family together and all of that shit, you know. But what do I know? <laughs> so he says, so people think that this is just something to take for a joke. Like, how do you expect me to feel after hearing this? Then, then finding out she been new since day one. Let me see. But, yeah. And I feel like I really don't talk to you about it because sometimes this shit is embarrassing. And then sometimes I feel like when people don't really understand where you come from, it will make a person feel like a person using them. You know? Right. And she's even saying it right then and there. Like, that is embarrassing. Like, man, like, I, I really want citizenship. You know, I don't want the person to that I get with to think that I'm just using them for citizenship. You know, because some people might think that. And in some cases, I'm pretty sure it's true. But what she's saying is it's not true. I believe her. You know, could I be wrong? Yes, of course I could be wrong. But, you know, I want to know what you think in the comment section down below. Let's back it up a little bit. I married you. That was my Mongo. I ain't gonna lie to Mongo was for me to marry an American person. So and I don't feel like that's a bad goal to have. Shit. You want citizenship? Shit. I'm trying to marry me a, uh, you know what I'm saying? An American woman. So I can, you know, get up in there, get up in there. But at the same time, I also want to actually have a genuine relationship or marriage or build a family with this person. It's not just to use that person for citizenship. But I would hope to fall for somebody who was an American citizen so I can be an American, American citizen by default. You know, that's what it sounds like to me. Let me know how y'all feel. Be my citizenship. But, yeah. And I feel like I really don't talk to you about it because sometimes this shit is embarrassing. And then sometimes I feel like when people don't really understand where you come from, it will make a person feel like a person using them, mm -hmm. you know? But, yeah, like, right now, can you tell me what's your problem with me? You won't go to sleep? <laughs> well, I'm not going to go to sleep right now, that's the thing. And that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. Drunk niggas never want to go to sleep until they actually pass out. Okay, I think you're But you need to take a nap. Okay. Okay. I don't want to If you complain about anything, I don't want Carmen Nate to be in to anything. I just feel so bad for Carmen, to be honest, man. Because it's just like... The one person that you trusted, the one person you had kids with, the one person that you used to, you know, sleep with, eat with, do everything with is exposing all of this shit on the Internet in your vulnerable moments, vulnerable times, drunk as hell, you know, fights and arguments. This is just wild to me, man. It, it, like he doesn't respect her at all and still playing victim. I'm here to bless you. I'm here for everything. You should be okay, green light, and everything. 
to do. No, you could you, 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 you know you drunk, so how you know what you want to do right now? It only makes sense. Because I want to be leave with you all day. Every and that's second. your problem. That's your problem. It's really not. The it is a problem. You admit it. You, I'm glad you said that. So like, I know it, but like, now you verbally said it. You can't take I'm trying to help you. You're going to see if you're doing exactly what the pattern is going to do. You're being that calm and that you said you want to be them. You're being that, but you're doing that. It's like, you can't even, you're going to see it. And you can, you're going to see, like, why I'm acting the way I'm acting right now. But I'm not even mad at you. I'm not mad at you. you are, man. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm disappointed and mad that you're doing what you said you want to do. Put it like that. What is that? Acting the way you're acting right now. What, just being drunk? Is that why he mad? You can see it on camera. Huh? But no, I, I, I don't gotta tell you. No, not, no, not, not, not that arguing. you don't know, you need me to no, tell you. No, that tell no, me no, that no, tell no, me that you fucked up right there. No, no. Because it's like you do something that I look in a different way versus how you did it. So what you did? What, what you saw me do? Right now. What you see me do? For me to be mad at you? Yeah, what you see me do? <laughs> no, what you see me do? You just, you just said you saw me do something. So tell me exactly what you see me do. Like, what are you, like... How do you really have a conversation with a drunk person and then record it like it's gonna make any sense? Mm. Exactly. You gotta think about. It. Come on, we, we this shit I'm talking about. No, right because she's childish. Me like something but, but, but no, you, you just said, said, like you then, just said I'll you see okay. me do something. What, what, what did he do? What, ooh, I, what did I do? I promise. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> what did I do to make you do that? You just said I see you do something. What was it? Tim. No, no, no. No, tell me what you were gonna say, Jessica. Don't do all that. Just tell me yeah, what you were gonna no, say. Yeah, no, no, no. I was giving an example that I seen you do something before. That's what made me want to say something now. Okay, so. Made so, me uncomfortable. So, what made you go? So, where was it? Right now? Yeah. Made me uncomfortable? Yeah. Um. You already said it? Yeah, realistic. Nothing so far, baby. So, but you just said you seen something that made, <laughs> that made you. No, I was. No, nah, you just. I don't care if I can stop it right now that you hear something you just said. Because I'm speaking on the times you spoke on, I was snap on you. Okay, but then you just said it was so, 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 what reason would you have to do that? What, what, what was it? What, why you said it? That's not what you just said. No, I'm saying. No, it. you said it on camera. You, you just said, nah, but I seen you do something, and that made me, maybe, and you, you yeah. changed your mind, and you, now you just said I didn't do nothing. No, I, I was speaking on go, the past, and you okay, said, no, I, you said something about the past. Yeah, you, so you got it, you got it. You're trying to reason with a drunk woman. She don't know where she at right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, so check this out, right? She don't know what's going on, man. Day 26, in my house, as y'all see, police is here. I called the police on karma. She got drunk. Won't do the most. I broke up with her. Didn't she go live? Didn't he go live and say some shit like that? They making me leave my house with my son. I can't take my three kids. Police try to take me to jail because I want to take all my kids. Carmen, it's over. I'm done with Carmen. I'm going to break up with her. And then she go right there, as y'all see. Now, uh, why'd you call the cops on her, though? What happened? The police is right there. It's over. All of that. Well, guys, that concludes my Q. I mean, where's the context? Like, like I said, man, it's a lot of context missing. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I feel like it's very, very, extremely sad what he's doing, and I don't know how long he's gonna keep up with this shit. He said he was ending that chapter, but the chapter continues. He said he was closing that book, but he's still writing. So let me know in the comment section down below, man. I'm not going to harp on this situation. Y'all already know how I feel about the whole situation in general, man. Like I said, it is never right to revenge cheat. It is never right to keep the kids away from a father who wants to be there for their kids. So, you know, like I'm not going to be biased in the situation at all. Y'all already know how I feel about that. I don't feel like it's right to keep kids away, you know, just because y'all are on some toxic shit. That has nothing to do with the kids. The kids still need to see both parents as long as both parents are not doing any harm to the kids right secondly it's never okay to cheat back yes she might have been at the end of her rope you know that last thing was in 2023 uh the last clip of carmen was in 2023 but at the same time i personally don't think that she said anything wrong you know like if her main goal was to get american you know to, to marry an american citizen um to be with american citizen like she said it's gonna sound like she's using that person but could she have really just wanted to fall for a person who was an American citizen so she could benefit from that too? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know? Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. Like I said, it's very wrong for him to air out all of these uh, recordings without Carmen's uh, <laughs> not success without Carmen's consent. Um, you got her drunk in, in her vulnerable state. You got her yelling outside with the cops. Like this is just really wild to me. But it doesn't surprise me coming from Corey. I don't know what else he has in his little bag of tricks. But I hope that Carmen just stays, you know, doing her thing. Stays handling this shit with grace. Stays elevating. Stays moving forward. Stays, you know, just doing her thing, man. You know, because at the end of the day, 
this dude right here, like I said, is very bitter. He's very hurt. And the thing that he's hurt the most about is he lost a woman who was riding for him for so long, right? He lost that woman and he thought he would be able to always have that woman, you know, in his life. And the fact that Carmen finally said, deuce, deuce, I'm out. Hey, y'all already know what happened, man. So I hope that Carmen stays strong. I hope that Corey can move on and heal himself because he definitely needs that. Like I said, he definitely needs all the money you got. You need to be taking some of that money and sitting down on somebody's couch who can get your ass together. All right. But anyway, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mama, tell they uncle Joey still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.